What's going on everyone? Welcome to Edgar Film Tech. You have no idea how excited I am, but if you've been watching this channel and my journey this year, ever since I bought this house, you know how much I always wanted to build my own server and upgrade my network and install security system. So I decided and I pulled the trigger on Unify stuff. So this is some of the goodies that I have so far. They're still, I uh, still need to get cameras and uh, run ethernet throughout my house. So this is gonna be a pretty long project, but I'm super excited. And I really wanted to show you what I have so far. So let me break it down. So right here I have the Unified Dream Machine Pro Max. And I'm gonna be unboxing this so, so I can show you as I go. This is gonna be my router gateway firewall and it can run um, Unify Protect, which is their interface or um, it can run the features for their cameras. So there's two hard drive base so I can record 24 seven all the cameras into this. So I don't need to have an NVR or anything like that. This can do that. So I'm very excited for that. So let's just unbox it and show you pretty much how this looks. So it comes with some stuff, you know, like uh, tools and things because these are all rack mountable. I will be mounting this on a rack in a little um, closet that I have in my uh, bedroom. So I'm gonna have this somewhere here and then I'm gonna show you kind of how this looks. I'm gonna be speeding all this because I'm not gonna show you me unboxing all these boxes. It'll take forever, but um, yeah. So right here we have the Dream Machine Pro Max. So I'll put on the screen some of the features, but right here we have the two bay that I mentioned, a little LED screens where you can see things. And also um, a 10 gigabit, a 2.5 gigabit. And then these supposed to be just a single one gigabit. Um, and this is where I would connect my um, modem from my ISP into this. So, and then again, all that rack um, tools that you need for you to mount it on your rack, would just be plugged in there. And then the back, we just have um, the power and a USB connect. I'm not sure what that is for, but I'll be learning as I go. I mean, this is gonna be my first server so that I'm gonna build. Um, but I'm very, very excited for that. Um, right here have the Unify switch, the Pro Max 24 core PoE. If you don't know what PoE is, you can power stuff over ethernet. So one single cable can power a camera and can also transfer data. So if I connect this to my dream machine, which would be the router computer brain of the system, then this being the PoE, would just power the rest of the equipment throughout my entire house. So um, there's 24 and there's obviously a limit of how much it can power, but there's 24 ports. So I'll be connecting computers, I'll be connecting cameras and access points, which I'll show you in a second what those are. Um, so let's just do that. Again, same concept. We get the, um, the power over here where you can connect it and then the USB connect. And then on the other side, all 24 ports, it tells you pretty much here, um, there's this thing called PoE plus, 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 or plus, plus, plus. This can give you two pluses. So that's the easy way I can explain. Um, I'll have right here on the screen how, what that means in terms of the power capacity, the more plus, the more power you can power. So we got another little screen here, and then you have the 10 gigs uh, on port 25 and 26. These are not included in the 24. Um, and these are just one gigabit, they show 2.5 and then the 10 gig. So from the Dream Machine Pro Max, I'll connect a cable to this one. I forgot the name of it, but it goes here. And then that way, all that data can be distributed throughout the entire switch. So I love how clean um, Unify stuff are, I mean, it just feels like almost like Apple products. So that's the other one. And then before I talk about this, these are patch panels. So patch panel, what that is, is you can, um, instead of having all that cable that is coming from all your accessories throughout the house, you know, like cameras, access points and things like that and computers, they go into your server, right? You have 24 cables going into that little server that you have so that instead of you creating that clutter right in front of your server, 
you can have a patch panel. So they, they all come from the back. And then from here, you can patch them to the switch that you need to. So that way you can keep it clean. They're easy to maintain. So that's why, that's why you see all those server very clean from the front. You don't see the back. They're all messy in a way. It's because of a patch panel. So I wanted to get that just so I can keep a clean look. I'll keep the mess in the back and also for me to easy to maintain it, especially the type of closet I'm gonna be building this. Um, it's actually very, very uh, tiny. So I'm not gonna be going back there or anything like that. So for me, a patch panel will be essential because once I build it, that's pretty much it. So that's, uh, that's the whole point of this. And then one of the most important things for me is the access point. I live in a very rural place where there's no signal from my cell phone, um, my phone provider. So the moment I step out of my house, there's barely any signal. So I wanted to start with Unify because their stuff is Wi-Fi 7 and then they also have outdoor access points. So I started with, I'm gonna start with three and I wanna see how well it does through concrete walls because my exterior walls are all concrete. The moment I step out, there's literally no signal. So based on some of the strategic places, placements that I'm putting these access points, I really wanna see how well it does. So let's unbox them. I bought three of them. I'm gonna show you a graph of where I'm planning to put them throughout my house. So I got three of them. They're all um, U7 Pro XG. Um, they seems to be one of the best ones. So I wanna see how well they do here in my house. So. This is what we got. This is the U7 Pro XG. So that's sort of what it looks like. There's a, I'm assuming there's a ring there that you can see the color. And that is the port that I'll be connecting the 2.5 gigahertz. It can actually take 10 gigabit, but I believe I'll be using a 2.5 to power this, which would be more than enough. And then um, and it comes with a bracket right here and a mounting um, plate. And then here are some of the stuff that it comes with. So this is pretty much everything that I have so far. So this is another thing that the PoE switch can power. I just connect that single cable to this access point and I can power that and I can also transfer data. So then I can have Wi-Fi on this part of my house. So. This is pretty much everything I got so far. Right now, like I said, I'm waiting for the cameras to be in stock because Unify, they sell like crazy. So before we wrap up the video, I wanted to let you guys know that the cameras actually came in stock. So I ended up getting the G6 Tord in black. I got three of them and also some patch cable with ether lighting. So you almost have everything for the build. Now let's get back to the video. And then um, I'll be, uh, also buying, let me know in the comments if I should be running CAS 6A instead of CAS 6. I don't know, I'm kind of going back and forth. I know I shouldn't see any difference in the house that it's not, you know, more than, um, I think it's like, uh, I forgot exactly how many meters is the, the max for 6A and this house is not nowhere near that. So is it even beneficial for me to do 6A or should I just, you know, save my money and do CAS 6 and also, um, Let's see what else. I gotta get the uh, the server rack. I also gotta get some little accessories there, here and there. And also a, um, a UPS. I don't have that yet. And these are very expensive equipment, so I, I definitely wanna protect them. So let me know in the comments which kind of, you know, what I should be doing. Like I said, this is my first time building a server, running cable throughout the house or anything like that. So if you have any tips that I can, you know, really beneficial from let me know in the comments i would really appreciate it so thank you for watching again this is going to be like a part two thing once i receive the rest of the stuff and i start this journey but um let me know in the comments what you think thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video